It is two o'clock and I'm hoping you having a fantastic day so far. Guys, I had to rush in order to come um, and, and sit down with you guys here. Yeah, it's been a it's a, it's been a well of a day all already from the start. Started off at 5 a.m. Um, as I had to drive about 40 minutes to Ringwood where we were having our BNI um, networking. And then after that I had to quickly rush back and I just finished a podcast with some really fun guys. It's called Something Something Habit. That's really fantastic. Barbara, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, Alex, how are you? Okay, right, so today's one um, is a little bit funny. I'm actually going to talk about what's happening in my business right now and what's happening in a lot of my clients' businesses and why exactly a lot of us are not making the kind of money that we're hoping we should have been making by this time this year whenever we got started, okay? Uh, my name is Prosper Taruvinga, by the way. I hope I say that right. Every time, you know, I get a little bit confused. But yeah, <laughs> that's my name. Um, yeah, and I, uh, my mission really is to help uh, digital marketers or entrepreneurs like yourself to start, scale, and grow a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And every day at 2 p.m., we come around, you're having lunch, and I'm having a chat with you just so that we can see how we can help each other, um, you know, grow and prosper. You know what I mean? And I know some of us are working all by ourselves. It's not easy. Chad, thank you so much. I was just talking about you that we were on your podcast. It was really fun, um, a little bit racy. And um, yeah, it's it's. Uh, please type in your, um, your podcast address so that people can follow you there. Uh, we just did episode number 21 with him. That's amazing. Bobby Chad. And thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so the the topic today is probably going to be a bit touchy feely to a few other people. Um, you know why? Because you you might think you owe this success to um, a lot of things that are happening around yourself. So Chad says, Prosper Taringa, you're the man. Thanks for the shout out. Ah, thank you so much. Nice. This is great. Hello from Sweden. Hello. How's it going? And you know what? A lot of people ask me why I continue to be producing uh, free content with no monetization and what my end game is. Okay. And you know what my big answer is? My big answer. Hey, Francesco, how are you? I hope you had a fun one yesterday. I and um, today's one is a bit is a bit um, uh, personal. So let's see how that goes. Um, yeah, and I was saying, people ask me a lot, why do I continue to do these lives? Why do I produce free content with no monetization sort of strategy instead of actually getting people to start paying me for these services? And you know what my big answer to them is. Okay, my big answer to them is you're here to make a difference in the world. And the best way that you can actually do this is to package that knowledge or whatever advice or expertise to help other people succeed. Okay, now everyone already knows what I'm about to say. Everyone already knows what's happening within their lives. And Lee says attracting the right client advertising yourself. Of course, man, that's about it. Exactly. That's about it. Okay. And Chad just put down the episode, uh, goes live on Monday. Okay. When it goes live, let me know. I'll, I'll check it out then. All right. So there's a lot of us that think that going online and making money is a hack or is something that you just wake up and automatically people are already lining up outside your house's door or knocking outside your landing page saying, hey, here's my email address. Um, send me whatever you can. It doesn't work like that. People got to know you. They got to like you and they got to trust you. All right. Before you endeavor to do any sort of work online, because if people don't know you, how are they going to trust you with their credit card? If people don't know you, how are they going to talk about you at the barbecue? If people don't know you, how are they going to pass on your information to other people as a referral? All right. So you really, really got to be passionate about this job, guys. I was talking to Chad earlier on and I was like um, asking him now, Chad, how long or, um, you know, how, how, how long does it take for somebody to become a pilot? Type it in there. And how long does it take for somebody to become a lawyer? And how long does it take for somebody to become a doctor? 
The reason why I'm asking these questions is it's the same sort of career that we are aspiring for. A lot of us want all the money, the fame, the, the, the luxuries, the holidays that these professionals go through all their lives, half of their lives in order to gain. Now, what makes you think you can just turn, you know, a website into a money making machine overnight? It does not work like that. Okay. Alex says it took me eight years to earn a doctorate. Exactly. And thank you so much for having pull, pulled through. All the people that I'm talking to around here online, they expect to put up a website today and automatically tomorrow people are lining up or climbing all over each other to buy their products. It doesn't work like that. Look at what uh, Amazon is doing right now. You would think they have all the money they have in the world, but look at them going off to buy out their competition. You know why? So that they stay relevant. Now you and your little website that is not even optimized, that it doesn't even show what you actually do. Why would you expect that you will make money overnight? Yeah. And Lee says engineer four, five, four years, five years engineering graduate. Yes, exactly. And look at this. Patience is key. You're right, Dan. Patience is key. You know what? I, I, I don't know why, um, but every man and their dog who wants to start a business shows up at my page or shows up in my inbox. You know what I mean? I seem to be attracting those kind of people. You know what? Because they probably think I'm some guru or I'm some guy, but I definitely not, don't want to project that. I am here to help people start, scale, and grow. Do you know what I mean? I've got a really successful business that I run behind the scenes, but it's not easy. And that's me coming here every day at two o'clock to share my experiences with you so that you also can see the process, can see how it's done and can see how you can uh, be, do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Do you know? It's, um, you know, I, I do know a thing or two about, you know, being in the online space and making a fair bit of money. And it doesn't mean you know, that's the secret. It doesn't mean there's a secret or whatever. You know, someone even asked me the other day if, you know, if, 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 if they were not marketing on uh, Facebook, if they were going to survive. And I told them, listen, buddy, listen, if people don't know who you are, if people don't trust you enough, if people don't have an idea of what you do, who you do it for and why they should care, how are they going to transfer that knowledge into their credit card or their trust? Okay, so Lee says, uh, you're human, you make mistakes, you've learned, you're sharing experience. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Because we just don't wake up and become who we are. It's taken right now, the only uh, uh, years that I can remember in Australia, I've been here for six years. All the struggle that I've been going through, having been evicted in my first apartment in Richmond, you know, all those things you are never told about unless somebody mentions their story. You know, when I came here to Australia, I knew no one. I was lonely. I like you have no idea how painful that is when you come into um, a, a city that's the size of a box and nobody knows your name. I was lonely and, 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 and everybody that was around me was just busy with their friends. And guess what that prompted me to do? That prompted me to then seek out to say, you know what? I'm sick and tired of always being sick and tired of being by myself. Let me venture out and look for people. And that's how I then started creating this movement and started creating my business. And now I feel like I owe everybody else who hasn't yet heard about me to, you know, have, you know, listen to what I've got to say. You know, so before starting any business, you need to really understand that making money has nothing to do with the business itself. Everything happens with the person that's controlling that m machinery. Okay, you're the one that moves the mouse. You're the one that opens and shuts, you know, the laptop. Don't expect the business to be the, the thing that then propels you to make money. Okay, so the foundation of a business is you. All right, to begin with, who are you? What do you want? Who do you want to serve? Because you can't just go out there and just not represent who you factually are. And Lee says, get out of your comfort zone is beneficial. I'm definitely going to be talking about the comfort zone. I came out from Africa. 
First of all, if I would have been there right now, I'd probably be ululating and sitting on a zebra with a bone sticking out my nose and not even doing anything. That would have been my comfort zone and having a pet lion or whatever anybody thinks of. That's the fantasy of, of what people think Africa is like, right? But I came out here and now I'm here working with people, feeding my family and also creating a legacy in the process. So the trajectory of any business will be entirely determined by the trajectory of your life. If your life is not in place, if your relationships are not in order, I guarantee you your business is not going to work at all. You know, there's certain aspects, you know, that, you know, you must work out like a well-oiled, um, you know, machine in order for you to actually prosper in this online space. Okay, it's not going to be the Facebook ads, it's not going to be this hack, it's not going to be this traffic, it's not going to be anything, AdWords or whatever you think it might be, or funnels or whatever. It starts there. If you're not mentally present, if you are not there physically, and if you can't roll up your sleeves and get into the trenches, you're never going to make it online. So stop wasting your time, stop wasting, you know, the space of the internet and also stop wasting hopes and dreams of those people that you're going to be tagging along with. All right, so it all starts with us. Like I was saying, I woke up today at 5 a.m. And then after that, I came back, I did a bit of prospecting. And then after that, I was... um. Um, I was on a podcast, now we're doing this uh, Facebook Live for the next 30 minutes, and then pretty much after that, I'm going to be going uh, to meet one of my mentors who's just in town for the day. So if you're not, if you don't have systems to make sure that all of those things are happening behind the scenes, all you get to see is the 30 minutes that I show you my life or my office or what's happening. But who counts the cost of the 10,000 hours behind the scenes? You know, I, I know you don't want the, the, you know, the cliche sort of life coaching, you know, that's not, that's not what I'm giving you guys. You just need some practical guidance to go through. I'll let all the other, you know, shiny object people sell you on uh, Facebook ads and sell you on books or sell you on whatever, um, you know, things that are coming on. But if you're going to be going in to those programs, those courses, those groups, without the right mindset, you're never going to make it. Okay? You know, people think I might be crazy waking up every single day, dressing up and going nowhere, but it's a mindset. Because if I don't respect what I do, if I don't respect myself enough, who is going to respect me? Do you know what I mean? You got to be prepared for that struggle. You never know when a client is going to want a video call and you're probably in your, in your track bottoms or you're probably your hair is everywhere. What sort of impression would you give them? Because you got to be prepared every single moment if you really want to be successful. Don't put success to be maybe another day or something like that. What if your client wants to have a chat right now? You know? We, we do this to ourselves. And yes, you might have books. I've got tons and tons of books, videos, and all that stuff. But if I don't open them, if I'm not disciplined enough to open every single one of them and read and then consume and then implement whatever I've learned, how am I going to learn? See, so for you to actually be really, really good at what you're going to do, and as an entrepreneur, guys, are you at that point in your life where you're actually prepared for struggle? Are you at that point where you're actually prepared for struggle? You know, entrepreneurship, it, it can be easy. All you see is Mark Zuckerberg going, yeah, we've created this. Yeah, we've created the iPad. Put the, you know, put a thousand songs in there, yada, yada. They don't tell you about the 10,000 hours that go behind the scenes for you to just look at this and go, nah, I don't like it. Do you know what I mean? Every single ad that you see, if you really want to see what I'm talking about on YouTube, all the, the, the behind the scenes work, all the videoing, all the putting together the content for you to just skip that ad every three seconds. 
Now, can you imagine if you're going to be going into the online space and you're not doing anything to actually retain those clients, nurture them, give them value and make sure that they're staying and you're helping them grow or you're giving them so much value or you're entertaining them. How do you think they're going to last or how do you think they're going to stay with you? In any case, if you guys really like this video today, can you please share it? I mean, obviously, it's not one of those personal development ones, but I think somebody needs to hear this. Somebody needs to hear that it's not going to be easy. There's no overnight success. It's a struggle. Every time, you know, Elon Musk comes up, steps on the scene, voila, he's got a Tesla car. There's 10,000 hours that went in there. Thomas Edison, for you to flick on and off a light switch, that was 10,000 attempts. So why do you think your work is going to be an overnight success? You should be prepared and knowing that you're going to eat crud. You're going to speak to people you don't like. You're going to leak some things you don't even think you have to just to get by will make you get the greet and the oomph that you're going to have. And you know the word triumph. You could try, but without a bit of oomph, you don't get the triumph. So that's where now what separates the people that actually make it and those. If you're just going to be a one-click wonder, that's fine. Good on you. You know, stop messing up, you know, our career and thinking that, you know, these things don't work just because your mindset is not up there. You know? It's like hiring a personal trainer and watch him training himself and hope that you get the abs. <laughs> he say, all right, I'll sit here eating chocolate and biscuits. You train for me and then I'll just get the abs. It doesn't work like that. You got to put in the preparation yourself, you know, and then you get yourself into the best headspace. Now, Chad says, man, the world needs to know perseverance to see success. Oh, we were talking about that. You know, there's people that are just out there for instant gratification, Chad. You know, so you want to write down all the aspects of your personal life that actually need work. Is it your, 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 your mindset? And then you go out there and you work on them. Because as an entrepreneur, you're going to be the janitor. You're going to be the photocopier. You're going to be the messenger. You're going to be the secretary. You're going to be the, the manager. You're going to be everything. You've got to make sure that at least you know all of these things. And you've got to be brutally honest with yourself, guys, to a point where you actually want to cry. Because if you haven't cried about your business yet, right now, if you haven't cried about your business, just sitting there and going, oh my God, what is happening to me? What's happening? You haven't started. I have. It happens almost every two weeks. I'm looking at my little girl and I'm like, no way. It's not her fault. I gotta work. <laughs> Only then can you say you're prepared. But if it's going to be one of those things that, uh, you know, it will fix itself, then just close it up. Yeah? You want to be at a position where you actually just give stuff out without expecting any return. <laughs> you got to be actually really, really happy with your current self if you want to survive on this online space. You know, are you actually able to, to, to sacrifice anything without holding back? And Lee says, I cry when I see my bank balance. But obviously those tears are going to propel you to move you so that the next month you are not in that same position. You know, you need to ask yourself right now, am I actually willing to give it my all? Am I going to continue to fail and, and then whatever heartbreak, whatever happens to me, I'm going to stand here because it's not over until I win. Um, Michael says, iceberg analogy, what people don't see is what matters the most. Oh, exactly. Because people, I, I don't know who says this, but I think it's Tony Robbins. He says people get paid um, for the stuff that happens behind the scenes. The stuff that you see is, is just, you know, minimal or minuscule to the stuff that actually happens behind the scenes. 
So if you're sitting there and your business hasn't made you cry as yet and you still go back and say, you know what, this is my thing, I'm going at it. And, and if you're not answering yes to those questions that I just answered a little bit earlier on, uh, I don't think you're ready for business, Missy or Mr. Yeah? Erica, thank you so much. If you like this, you can, uh, you can share this video. So business is about sacrifice, guys. Do you know what I mean? Giving the most of all that you have to be happy with who you are. Because there's going to be times of crying. There's going to be times of, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself, but your clients are still going to want to see you show up. And Francisco says, I've been there many times. And I'm glad to see you here every single day, man. Because you, you know what? That shows character. That shows oomph. So guys, if you don't actually love yourself, how are you going to love your customers? How are you going to love what you do 24-7? You know? How are you going to love the, the, the team that you work with? You, you have to have so much inside of you in order to give anything out. If you right now do not love who you are or what you, you think of yourself, there's a zero chance that you will make it past 2017 in business. And I said it, if you want to hold me accountable to my words, please write it down right now so that we're all watching and see what you're doing in 2018. The world's greatest plan or book or ad or hack or shiny object will not work unless you guide yourself forward and you, your team or whoever works um, with you. You have to learn to love yourself, love your work, love whoever gives you attention. There's 7 billion people in the world. Right now, everybody that writes on my life here, I say hi to them. I, I give them my time. You know why? Because they could be somewhere else right now. The more you give yourself out to people, the more you're going to be replaced with, with so much stuff. It starts with small daily habits. This is one of my small habits, guys, showing up every single day and doing a live for 30 minutes like this. For you guys, it's entertainment. For me, it's a lifestyle. Do you know what I mean? It becomes a big, audacious habit, you know, and, and we, we sometimes have some of them. You know, but then it's you, you, you now start having, you know, small habits that then build into this one big, gigantic thing. And you, then people will now start thinking, where did he come from? No, he was working, he was grinding, he was putting in the work. So if you're not putting in small habits, that will keep you disciplined. Because business is all about discipline. And especially if you're in the startup phase, if you don't have anything that grounds you, if you don't have anything that you look forward to every single day, you won't go past the next week. Because what, what's going to happen is you're going to be pulled in 500 different directions. And everyone who's writing you an email every single day is just imposing their agenda on you. Now, if you're not focused, if you don't have anything that you're supposed to be doing for that day, you know what's gonna make, what that's going to happen? It means you're just going to follow through and not do anything that helps you. Right, and uh, Lee says, my shiny object is about to launch in three weeks, 2018, uh, will be confirmation. Um, all the preceding years of development, you're really good, Confirm uh, confirmation motivator, prosper, thank you. Lee, thanks for tuning in, and Bobby, Bobby says, uh, business is about discipline, of course, of course it is. And Francisco says, how do you find what to speak on Facebook Live? I'm probably overthinking this. Bruh, let me tell you something. If, if you are constantly giving yourself and surrounding yourself with things to do, things to say, and things to, um, you know, better yourself, you will find something to talk about. Let me tell you one thing, Francesco, that I do. I do not watch television. I only read emails twice a day. This is what I do at 10 a.m. because I start work at 9. At 10 a.m., that's when I read my first batch of emails and at 3 p.m. And after that, I'm not reading any emails. The only people I get to really speak to is my clients, um, my daughter, my wife, 
and some other people that ring me or people that I prospect to. I'm constantly reading, all right? So if you fill yourself up, the only thing that's going to overflow from yourself is whatever comes in. If you squeeze an orange, all you get is orange juice. You're never going to squeeze an orange and get apple juice. So what you put in is what comes out. So garbage in, garbage out. Good things in, good things out. Giggle. Garbage in, garbage out. Guard your brain like a terrorist. That nobody comes in and puts in any crud, any stupid things and make sure you are focused on where you want to go, focused on what you want to do, Francesco, and focused on your ultimate goals. Alright, so if you are not doing stuff that is propelling you towards the next level, reading, uh, being around people that motivate you. Oh, yeah, you can quote that, Francesco, if you want to. So it's small daily habits. Do you know what I mean? You become a reflection of what you eat. You become a reflection of who you talk to. You become a reflection of the hours of sleep that you have. Because if you don't go to sleep early or in time, you're, you're, you, you, you wake up and you, you're, 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 you've got bags in your eyes. You're not looking good and you don't feel good about yourself. That automatically ruins your day. So you are what you eat, you are how you sleep, you are who you spend time with, you are what books you read, and stay away from television of any kind, unless you are watching something productive, something you're learning from, or this show here on TV. Do you know what I mean? Because TV is just designed to make you feel inadequate. All those shows that we watch on TV, uh, My Kitchen Rules or um, all those reality TV shows. All right, if you're watching MasterChef, you're looking at that person and saying, look at how good they are at cooking. Now, if they're being yelled at and if they're not doing well, who, how good am I going to be in my own kitchen when I don't even have the same kind of skills? Automatically, it makes you feel inadequate. All right, I don't want to listen to the news. Well, I know what's happening around the world. You know what? There's always some goober who's going to come around and want to tell me. But I don't care. You know why? Because I've got a lot of my own problems. You know what I mean? I've got a lot of my own problems. So at the end of the day, that's why I don't have crud in my brain. It's all just really good stuff because I'm, I'm filling it up with nice stuff. All right? So Matthew says designed to turn us into passive customers. <laughs> Pretty much, I suppose. Yeah, exactly. Um, Erica says, whoa, me too. I never have time for TV and I'm always doing my own things. I love doing what I do, being passionate and what I do is making me motivated. Thank you so much. The more I know that there's a few people just that are cutting off, you know, the cord from uh, cable TV, the better the world is going to be. Because if you wake up in the morning and the first thing you hear is, oh, there's been five people that have been murdered in Bujumbura, what are you going to do about it instead? It's just going to make you feel bad. And uh, Bobby says, I don't watch TV at all except Game of Thrones. Oh, I like Game of Thrones. <laughs> but I'm talking about, you know, programmed television where you just sit there and you're just watching. You don't even know what's coming up next. It's commercial after commercial and people just pushing in their agenda in, in your face. I want to ask you one question to those people that are watching television. If somebody would come in with a truckload of garbage and just dump it in your living room, are you not going to fight them and, uh, until they take away that garbage? Are you not going to call the police? Are you not going to try and murder them actually because they're ruining your space? But we let that happen to us every single day from TV and from radio. Why do we let them do that? So pretty much, you know, I believe from what I just went through right now, what you want to do is read daily, expand your mind and, and watch what you eat. Because if you eat bad things, it, it, it you know, it translates to, to what you think. You know what I mean? Fresh food will make you energetic and, and you know, you feel good about yourself. You, you can't do well if you're not, you know, doing well. 
You go to bed early, you know why, and, and, and just make sure you get your eight hours of sleep. Don't follow through the whole hustle, 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 hustle. Because what good are you to clients tomorrow if you've got droopy eyes? You also want to make sure you're surrounding yourself with really, really positive people. And even in our news feed, if somebody is not really helping you guys, unfollow them if you don't want to hurt their feelings or just delete them. My news feed right now, I don't want to lie to you, it's probably entrepreneur, something from me, something from me, something from me, uh, something from my business or something from my customer so that I'm monitoring them. None of everybody in their bullshit. Because, you know, everybody's just trying to put in their own agenda in our, our minds every single day. Every time you hear something bad, you've got to listen to 11 things to clean up your mind to purity. Now, why not just contain that environment to make sure all you're hearing is just the good stuff? It's not because I'm a hippie or I'm talking about the new age, oobly goobly stuff, but it's because it freaking works, guys. Because if you're not going to be in the same headspace as some of the entrepreneurs out there, then you know what? I'm your competition. And when I say, come, let's arm wrestle, do you think you've got it? You've got what it takes? I don't think so. Guard your mind, guard your environment, and make sure you, you guard it like a terrorist. Don't let anything that is not, you know, going to help you, move you, you and your business or anything, anywhere near you. Like I said, I'm not a hippie. This stuff works. If you look at all those guys that are really, really, um, you know, uh, successful in their lives, they actually uh, never allow any bullshit around them. And you also got to make sure your belief system, you believe in yourself. You believe that no matter what anybody says, you are the best thing that ever was. Because then if you don't have that belief, somebody may just come in or you're prospecting and then they refuse your offer. And then you start thinking, oh, is there something wrong with me? It's their fault. All right. So you want to make sure that you've got all of these things. Believing in yourself is the single most important thing for you to actually s step into starting a business. All right. No one is going to join your team until you actually believe in yourself, believe in your product, believe in whatever you're going to do. And no one is going to buy from you until they see that enthusiasm. So you have to sit down. You have to practice believing in yourself before you even start this whole entrepreneurial journey. If your business does not last until next week or whatever it is, it's your fault because you're not doing the right things. Now, after watching this, do you believe making money is more than just having a website or an app? I'll be in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I gotta go.